All right, hey guys, so this is gonna be one of the very few unscripted videos I ever do on this channel, but I feel like it's about time that I address a lot of the videos that have been going around of me boxing Michael Reeves, me losing, and I've noticed that those videos have now received millions of views, and uh, I've yet to watch that video. Afterwards especially is like when you feel the real injuries and like the real dizziness. Listen, for those unaware, there was a charity boxing match that was called Creator Clash, and back in November, iDubs, Ian, approached me and asked if I wanted to participate and fight Michael Reeves. You know, within a few weeks, I called him back and I said, hey, you know what, I'm in. And I called Michael right after that. And I'm like, hey, Michael, I just, I, I make me feel better bef before I like 100% commit to this, like, how are you feeling about this? I think just hearing his hesitation as well made me feel comfortable that like, okay, he, he's not going to, uh, you know, just go like haywire or anything like that. But when I started training, I think I severely underestimated absolutely everything to do with boxing. That's epically difficult, especially with how nervous you and I both were. That is a, that's a feat to just agree to this at all, so. The day of, we all get there a little early and we look around. I'm looking around at this huge center of what, like 10,000 people are gonna be there. I, I think at that point, I went into this daze where it's like I knew I had to just do it, but I was so nervous, I was so scared, that by the time I was about to walk out, I, it was, it, it, it's so surreal, but there's this feeling of just like enthusiasm, excitement, and calmness, because I was finally gonna get it over with. I get there, the bell goes off, and I have to say, the only thing that went through my mind was I have to finish this as soon as possible. Everything you learn, I hate to say, it goes out the door. Like once you hear the, like the crowd and the people and you see the cameras, I, I think there's, there's nothing that could have fully prepared me for, for that. During the fight was some lizard brain. I don't even know what happened. That was some lizard brain, yeah. So how about this, I'm gonna watch the video. Wow, it's interesting to see the commentary. My heart is pounding, by the way. I've not. I, I know I mentioned it before, but I've been avoiding this video because I did not want to watch it. Round number one. Jabs right away from oh. Michael Reeves, Graham as well. I just wanted to be the one to make the first move and throw more punches uh, because I believe the more punches I, th I threw, the, the higher the chance I'd land a hit, you know? Graham. Pressure from Grant Stephan, look at that. He's Michael has great technique, and that's something that uh, you could tell he crouches down the closer he gets to me, whereas I'm not doing that. I should have been doing that. It felt completely, like, it, I don't remember doing most of that. Um, it's just, yeah, it's crazy to see, like, what, what other people saw, because it was a, a complete different thing. Right hand to the body, Stephan. The crowd is cheering him yeah. on. The crowd is just cheering on it Michael right deafening. now. That's interesting. I didn't even remember people uh, chanting Michael's name. I, it, it's so weird, but like, I, did, I don't remember hearing a single thing. And I remember the coach saying like, you gotta listen to me, I'm gonna be yelling at you, just listen to my voice. It may as well have been silent. I don't remember a single thing. It's not just behind nothing but nice jab oh, for Reeves. Three jabs for Michael Reeves. And Grant acknowledges all three. It's so funny, watching this brings, like, I forgot everything, and then as I'm watching this, these memories are popping into my head. And I remember seeing the look on his face, how serious he was, and how, like, I, and Michael's funny. Like, he's a lighthearted, like, humorous, charismatic guy. And to see a stone-cold face of him just, like, angry and just serious, it scared me, because I had never seen him like that. Very, very, very uh, Yeah, I remember that bell went off, and I was so happy that it's like one round is down. You see Graham come in, double jab, triple jab triple. his way in. And that oh. right hand, though. And again, the, the counter off of it, and you see right here in the corner, uh, Michael Reeves coach saying that right hand's landing. Yes, I was just going to say. Yeah, Michael has a fantastic right hand. I did not throw my right hand. I, I, I kept jabbing to push him back, but I should have followed that up with the right hand. I didn't. Oh, you could literally see his trainer saying, jab, jab, right hook. So what his trainer is doing is watching how I'm fighting and then saying, here's how you could counter that. And the one thing my trainer said is, you never want to stay too consistent with, with your punches because they'll be able to learn from that and then go around them. More yes. volume from Graham, but again, even landing rate. The harder punches were landed by Reeves. Definitely. Absolutely. 
Round number two, here we go. This is the one I've... This is the round I lost, so... Uh... He's trying to put that pressure in smother. Right. Oh, oh, that was... Oh. That was it. So, when that hit, I'd never been hit in my head like that, ever in my entire life. And that threw... I, I was not prepared for that one. Uh, it was the strangest sensation because it just feels like for a split second, uh, everything goes black and then bloop, comes right back. And that was something for me that uh, I needed probably 20 seconds to recover from that. You don't, you don't have 20 seconds, but that was a very strange sens sensation that I've never had. Oh yeah, when Michael went in right there and just kind of back and forth. I knew he was gearing up for something and he didn't seem tired. I know you're never supposed to show that you're tired and even if you are, but he just seemed like he was just like, just getting going. Right onto the shot. Oh, Michael Reeves, another one. Another one. Another one. Referee's taking a close look. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And that That's it. Is wow. It. wow. Oh, hold on, let's finish this. Michael Reeves. Yeah. There's that demon you were talking about. That demon you were talking about. So how about this? It would be interesting to get his side of the story because I don't think anyone's heard from Michael Reeves, uh, well, until now. After the fight, I was just happy it was over. I was just happy that it was done. That, like, so, so thankful. I don't think I've ever been that relieved in my life of something. So that was nice. I think we got kind of lucky by being in the first one because no one knew what to expect. Imagine, like, the people who will be in two probably have to train for, like, a year. That's some nerve-wracking that's extra bad it's just yeah it's crazy to see like what what other people saw because it was a, a complete different thing yeah you gotta hit the like button you gotta give it a little uppercut on the like button i'd also like to get my trainer's perspective on this because seeing all of this again puts things in an entirely different perspective i thought graham was very dedicated because it's obvious for me i saw firsthand mm. how busy he is just through his normal daily life of doing what he does and he does it very well so to take time and set aside uh, from what you normally do to do something that's out of your comfort zone it's, it's a very difficult thing and it's hard to kind of guess and judge how much time I really need to put into this to balance out with what I normally do it's so easy to criticize somebody that's there without knowing where they started without knowing the corrections that have already been made without knowing like okay we've planned to do this this and this and all of a sudden the fight is something a little bit different so now we have to make adjustments. Uh, honor to be part of it, and, and I, even more respect for you yeah. to do what you did. I'm not even sure I would have done that, so, so that was great. And of course, we gotta thank the people who made all of this possible to begin with, iDubs and Anissa. Uh, so far, I think we've raised uh, close to a million dollars for all the charities involved. One of the reasons that this event, I think, was a success is no one had any idea who was bringing the heat, you know? It was, it was still 50-50. Everyone subscribe to Graham Stephan. He is a champ. He is a warrior. I thought, like, he was, he looked like he was going to vom in the locker room, but he came out there swinging. And uh, I'm just, I don't know. I'm super happy with you participating in the event. Uh, it just made it so much better. So thank you, Graham. So with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to subscribe and uh, if you're new to the channel and you want to learn about personal finance, investing, building wealth, all that great stuff, I'm here. So if you want to be a part of it, subscribe, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And at the same time, we got some goodies down below in the description. You can get a free stock worth all the way up to $1,000 when you sign up for public. This really funny thing happened where I had to have my guard and pants pulled down by my trainer's friend because they gloved me up. And I had to pee. And that was just so funny that it was like, it made me feel a little better. You guys better subscribe. See what comes next, please. Just subscribe, that's all I ask. Uh, uh.